Hey guys, today we're going to do a simple eyeshadow look and talk about some techniques for using blending brushes. So if that sounds like what you're looking for, then you're in the right place. So I'm going to bring everything in real close and we'll get started. So we want to start with a smooth base. So go ahead and tweeze away any little hairs that might be getting in the way because they will make texture and we don't want that. So I've already done that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use use primer on my lid and up to my brow. If you saw the skin of your eye under a microscope, you would see how textured and indented it is, little fine lines, and the primer is going to help us smooth all that out and that way we can blend the eyeshadow effectively. I'm going to start by putting a little bit of concealer just under the brow to highlight the brow. I'm just going to put a few little dots there and I'm just going to take this little brush and blend that up underneath a little on top too. This just carves out the brow and gives a lifting effect. So now I'm going to take my first eyeshadow and I'm working with the Tartlet in Bloom palette and I'm going to take a transition shade. Now what does that mean? A transition shade is going to cr help create a gradient of color with the eyeshadows to make it look more natural. The color that I'm going to use is right here and it's called Smarty Pants. So I'm going to take a blending brush and I'm going to get some of that color. I'm going to tap that off and then I'm going to go in right here and I'm holding the end of the brush because I want this to be pretty diffuse and airbrushed looking. And I'm going to go back and forth and I'm going to go a little higher than my crease. I'm going to go in my crease and then I'm going to go just a little higher. I have hooded eyes and this is a way to create the illusion of more lid space. So we always want to do that if we have hooded eyes. And you just want to keep blending until you get it how you like it. Now I want to keep the inner corner brighter, so I'm going to use a lighter color like this one called Charmer right here. That's going to keep everything bright in the interior. So let's start in the middle and I'm just pressing that in just right over to meet that transition shade. Now you can start working on the outer corner of the eye and this is where the darkest color is going to go. I'm going to use this color in the corner here called Leader. It's kind of a burgundy brown color. It's pretty dark so I'm not going to load up the brush too much, but I am going to hold the brush closer to the tip so that I have more control because I want to get right in that corner and just start circling and I'm going to go in just a little, just a little, just a little. I can always add more if I want to, and I think I want to. Keep that control and just start circling that in the corner, making kind of a V right there to give a little bit of depth and a little more interest to that. Now I'm going to go in with, with a clean brush, a very fluffy brush, hold it towards the, t the other end, right, and start blending. So it just gives a little more depth I like to pull it up just a little because of the hooded eyes that are not too downturned, but just a little, little hooded. I like to give it a little more lift. I'm going to go back in with that lightest shade just to make sure that that is still doing what I want, nice and bright. And then we'll blend that in around the edges here by that darker shade. I'm also going to pop just a little under the brow. Well, I want to get a nice smooth transition here where those two meet. So just remember, keep blending. Hold for blending, of course, an airbrush look. Hold down on the end. A loose grip, not too tight. Now you could go in with eyeliner and mascara to finish the look to whatever level you want. So that's our finished look. I put on a little eyeliner and a little mascara and what do you think? So this is definitely an easy look for day. You can keep packing in that 
drama by adding more eyeshadow for a nighttime look, you can take this wherever you want to go. Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. If you enjoy this kind of content, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more from me, go ahead and hit subscribe and join my small but growing community of people that are interested in beauty, skincare, and lifestyle for those of us over 50. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.